Hi, this is John Lee, and today is Friday, June 5th, 2015, on another cold spring morning. It actually looks like it's also going to rain today. The sky is overcast. I'm walking down another trip on memory lane. I'm heading over to Bronx Science High School, last day of the week at about, what time is it, 8.20 in the morning, which is around the time where all the students start gathering together in the front courtyard area before they go to class. So this will be interesting. This is, Bronx Science is my old high school. It was one of three specialized high schools in New York, uh, New York City rather, where you had to take a specialized exam in order to qualify to get in. And it's a public school, but it's a very good public school. There were three, three of these schools. The first one is Stuyvesant, which is the best of the three. You had to get the high, you had to get, in order to qualify for that school, you had to get the highest, you had to pass a certain score, and that was the highest score of the three, I guess, um, uh, test scores that you had to get in order to get in. They were the hardest to get into, by the way. The second best school is my school, Bronx Science, but also a very, very good school. And the third of the three, Stuyvesant, by the way, is located in Manhattan. Bronx Science is here in the Bronx. And Brooklyn Tech, which is the third school, is located, obviously, in Brooklyn. So usually the New York public school system at least for high schools, a lot of people, a lot of rich people rather, send their kids to private schools. But Bronx Science, Stuyvesant, and Brooklyn Tech are three schools where you could send your kids to the public school system and feel pretty good about it. Because for those three schools, the teachers, you know, the way things were run, it was awesome. So, yeah. I already see some students on their way to class now, as I'm talking. This is a pretty nice campus. They, four story, it's a four story high school. There used to be rumors about a pool on the top floor that I never actually got to see myself. But they do have like a, sports field area in the back of the school. In fact, I'll show you some of it right now. Here we go. So that's my school. Yeah, it's been a long time since I was here. But this courtyard area is where everyone would go during lunch and play frisbee. Although, high schoolers, they don't call it frisbee because frisbee just sounds too childish. So they call it ultimate, which is a frisbee style game. And yeah, this is where people went to chill, relax. School hasn't changed much at all, from what I can tell. And you know how when you go back to those old places you remember in your childhood and everything looks smaller? Well, this school looks, still looks pretty freaking big. There's like a satellite dish on the top. I wonder if those are solar panels too. I don't know if you can see them. All right, there we go. That's a staple of wrong signs. People throwing the frisbee around. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I can zoom in a little? No. Oh, I guess it's still... Still a little early. <coughs> I see some students.
I was here yesterday around this time and it was freaking crowded. All right, so here I'm in the courtyard area. Let's see. Behind me is the... Oh, I don't know if you can see this. But there's the American flag and there's the official Bronx Science School flag, which my friend Noah, Noah Ziffer designed this flag many, many years ago. We, we had a competition in one of the years when I was in high school and I submitted a design, he submitted a design, a bunch of other people submitted a design. You can't actually really see the flag too well right now because the wind isn't so good. But his, his design won and to this day, that is still the Bronx Science School flag. All right, you can see the students marching in. There's a courtyard. Yeah, so let me hang on. There we go. So there it is. Bronx Science. Let me see if I can get a better shot in the middle. You can see that's my old high school. Actually, school should be ending, I think, on June 27th. So today's June 5th. So they have a little over three more weeks before school's out. But I'm starting my new job on June 8th. So I'm not going to have a chance to stop by in the morning like this and catch the students as they arrive to class. And that's Bronx Science, and here's the, I guess, street vendor. Pretty popular spot for the students just before they go to class. And down this way is another side of the school. See if I can show you where the um, track and field area is. All right, but here's more of the school. Walked along this way. This is the route I used to take to go home. So I would get a nice scenic shot of one side of the school. Not many students came around this side. This is just, this just happened to be the side of the school where you'd sit in class and look outside, maybe. Would love to be able to actually walk inside and capture some footage, but yeah, I don't think they would allow that. Don't think that's gonna happen. Security would probably drag me up before I got two steps in. Okay. There was actually an incident here when I was going to high school where they, no, I think it was after I had graduated, where one of the students was a, oh, not, sorry, not the students, but one of the teachers, um, it turns out, had been a member of NAMBLA. N-A-M as in Mary, B as in boy, L-A. I'm not exactly sure what that stands for, but, but apparently it was an organization that's, uh, that, was, um, that supported pedophilia. So there was this huge controversy about this teacher who was a member, and I think ultimately they fired, fired him. But yeah, that was kind of uh, a black mark on Bronx Science because parents were outraged. All right. Now the school next to Bronx Science is DeWitt Clinton. The Clinton High School was known as the Jock School and Bronx Science was known as the Nerdy Weakling School. So the joke was that the Clinton students always used to beat up on the 
Bronx Heinz students. students. Wow, they've really not maintained the field area here. They haven't really cut the grass too well. But there you can see the stands. This is where they play baseball or have their sporting meets. Notice the Bronx Science side of the uh, field area isn't all that well maintained. But when you get to the Clinton side of the field, their field is beautiful. So obviously Bronx Science, not too high, not, not too much of an emphasis on sports. Whereas Clinton, they go all out. The whole nine yards. It's Clinton over there. Yeah, their field is well maintained. They have people already on the field training, it looks like. And I don't know if you can see it through the fence, but that's Clinton, Clinton High School right there. You know, it's weird. I thought there'd be a lot more students out today and a lot more traffic. I mean, I was here yesterday and it was crazy. There was buses lined up along the sidewalk. There were cars jam-packed all along down the street. And I'm not seeing anything today. Today's Friday. It's a school day as far as I'm aware. Maybe they have a day off. Maybe this, this is some kind of special day or something, which it probably is. All right, well, I'll show you a little bit more of the school. Oh, actually, I gotta show you the field, which is right across the street from the school. So there's Bronx Science. But if you look across the street, there's a field there. And you can actually maybe see some students walking along. God, I can't remember what this field was called, but this is where students used to go after classes to smoke weed. Yeah, they used to smoke weed and they probably still do. Who am I kidding? They're probably still smoking weed. It's nice to know some things never change. Yeah, it looks like classes are still starting. Yeah, it looks like it's a school day today. What the heck was the name of this field? I can't remember. But yeah, there are the students filing into class. No trespassing or loitering. These are the good students. These are the ones that actually show up early. If you were a student like me, you were like, Barely on time. All right, damn it! I need to know what the name of this field is where all the Bronx Science students used to go to smoke weed. I used to know this like the back of my hand, but geez, old age. All right. You know it's spring. It's June 5th. Why does the weather suck so bad? All right, so here's the field. Wow, they cleaned it up. They actually changed it. This used to be like a wasteland. But they've actually, looks like they put on artificial turf, set up a um, baseball field. Oh, they really cleaned up. All right, so the name of this field is Harris Field? No, that was not the name. I don't think that was the name of this field. We used to call it something else. They must have renamed it. Probably after they renovated or re-landscaped it. Wow. Alright, so this has changed. I guess for the better. But I'm betting the students still go up here to smoke weed after classes. Or during classes when they're playing hooky. Harris Field. Was that the name of this field? I don't remember. I could have sworn it was called something else. Oh well.
All right. So that was a little tour of my old high school, Bronx High School of Science. One of the best schools in New York City that you can go to. So if you like this video, please click like and or subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.